Siarko here again. So this weekend there's an antique fair in Tsao. Unfortunately my record collector friend couldn't join me because today he has a funeral to attend. Well, the good thing is that it's not his funeral. But anyway, I just came back from the antique fair. And the big question is, did I find anything? Well, at least I found something. Can you believe it? I just paid 26 euros for all of these. Plus, of course, the huge entrance fee which was 10 euros, so 36 euros I spent, but let's take a closer look at those singles. See you in a minute. So I managed to find a pile of promising 45s. So let's start to go through those findings. And I divided that pile into three different sections. The first one is the ones without picture sleeves or records comp record company sleeves. The second pile is the ones with record company sleeves and the third one is the ones with picture sleeves. So I'll try to go through these as fast as I can. Oh, the first finding, a true classic, Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer, B-side, Wild in the Streets. So this didn't come with any kind of proper sleep, but luckily I have an empty picture sleeve of this single so now and make a true Frankenstein. Uh, second finding the Boomtown Rats their best known song I don't like Mondays and B side is it's all the rage and luckily I already have this single with picture sleeve, so this is kind of an extra. And then comes Roxy Music single, and this is a John Lennon cover, Jello's Guy. On the B side, to turn you on. But I'd say that this cover version is pretty good. Almost as good as the original one. 
And then I happened to find the round run signal and this one is my own way beside as like an angel yes and this one has an intact push out center my way is a very good song and then the Kim Wilde single Check with love and on B side it's Shane and Shane is a non album track and this single doesn't have its original push out center but when I see a Kim Wilde single I'm sure gonna buy it. Another classic track, this time from Madness Our House. Really fun and positive sounding song. On the B side, Walking with Mr. Wees. I think I've never heard that one before. And the last single without record company sleeve or picture sleeve is by Fleetwood Mac. And this single has two classic track by them. On the A side, oh this is mono single. On the side a side is Albatross. I think that's an instrument. Uh, and on the B side, Need Your Love So Bad. And that one is classic track because White Snake covered it during the 80s. And then Four singles with record company sleeves, yes, and this is a bit of a surprise find. This is by Adam and the Ants, and I don't see their singles too often. And this song is Doc, or this single is. Doc eat Doc and on the B side there's Fusi Khan your soul and usually Adam and the Ant signals have non album B sides but I have to check out this one and then the police singer, very good song. Every little thing she does is magic. And on the B side, flexible strategies. And another lovely insect push out center. And he is, well, that's a weird one, I'd say. This one's from Emerson Lake and Palmer. Fun fair for the common man. On the B side, brain salad surgery. interesting and there's at least one Petula Clark fun in the VC and he's a Finnish member 
probe a user one. So that's because that's why I buy both cutting. That's why I bought this thing on. And this is which one is A side. Uh, not sure but Sailor is on the other side and my heart or more is on the other side. So I'm not sure whether I'm gonna keep this or not. We'll see. And then comes the ones with picture sleeves. He is a really classic and probably a little bit overplayed song. Down under by men at work. Packed with crazy. A big label. I already have another copy of this and this one is bought by my big sister. And here's the date, 18th of February 1983. So it's always nice to have the same single with different sleeves. And then another single that I already have, a classic track. Samantha Fox, do you do you wanna please me? I'd say yes. And on the B side, never gonna fall in love again. And here's my other copy. Both of these are the same pressing, so I'd better check out which one is in better condition. And here's two Samantha Fox postcards that I bought back in the 80s. <coughs> and then Sting single of this time, packed with I Miss You Kate. And I already had this single, but these are two different pressings. This one is probably UK pressing because it doesn't have a large spindle hole. But I really like this song and this song always reminds me of the days when we got MTV back in January 1990 and I've probably thought that many many times before but. and then three O single da 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 and on the A side, this has English version, and on the B side, a German version. And, and a couple of antique fairs ago, I found this Da 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 single by Tree, but this one doesn't have picture sleeve or record company sleeve, so was nice to find this single with picture sleeve and this one is not a keeper I'm gonna give it away to my record collector friend classic uh, status quo song in the army and on the B side it's Heartburn. 
and here's an Abba single. The winner takes it all. And Elaine on the B side. Probably everybody knows. The winner takes it all, so a Chanon classic. And then a single by Eraser. A little respect back with like Zaza Zagabor. I'm not a big fan of Erasure, but this song I know. And this is from the 88. And then another, I'd say, surprise find. A Kim Wilde single, Rage to Love. And on the B side party in your hands and I already have a 12 inch maxi single of this one but I've never seen a 7 inch version so really nice find and then another classic Berlin take my breath away CBS label and on the B side. What is this? Georgia Moroder featuring Joe Bitchelo. So, Radar Radio. But I think there are a couple of Top Gun fans, even in the VC. This was kind of half blind by I think I've heard this Kim Mar Kim Sims name. I'm not one hundred percent sure, but this one's from nineteen ninety two. see but there's a promotional copy not for resale sticker on the back side and then one of the most overplayed songs of all time and I finally managed to find it <laughs> and did you already guess what it is? I'm talking about the final countdown by Europe. The song doesn't get much more overplayed than this one. Another B side on broken wings. And this is the blind by some Toya single, four from Toya. Because this didn't cost much at all, I thought, what the hell. And then Shakespeare's sister single, Your History. Dirty Mind live version on the B side and they managed to release a couple of very good singles so this is not the first single from them then another half blind by this is Gloria Estefan, love for 
Loving You single remix on the B-side album version of it. And another half blind by by Cher could have been you. I don't remember that song, but on the B side, this very good song, Love and Understanding. Um, this one is not a keeper. I'm gonna give this to my record collector friend, One Halen's Dreams, and inside on the B side. Dreams is one of their best songs as far as I'm concerned. And another blind buy. I bought this because this is from the classic movie Full Metal Jacket. And on the A side, this is Full Metal. Jacket, I wanna be your drill instructor, and on the B side, this song called Sniper. So I have no idea what this is, and then another A this song, Banana Rama. Robert De Niro's Waiting, Bush on the B side. And look at this lovely custom injection label. Don't see those too often. Then another half blind by and this one is from Tracy Allerman, Move Over Darling. And on the B side, B side, you broke my heart in 17 places. I have no idea about the music on this one, but we'll see. And finally, the last one. And this one is by Extreme Tragic Comic. And this single is Special Edition Etched 7 inch single. But to be honest, there's not that much itching on the B-side. I wouldn't even call this itching. And to be honest, I don't remember ever hearing tragic comic song by them. But those were single finds. Now there's just one little but left and I'm not talking about mine but uh, I haven't cleaned and listened to this yet so there's always a risk that some of those vinyl is in substandard condition. But always, and every time when I'm checking out the second hand singles, I check out the condition of the vinyl and if there's anything that looks like a scratch, I'll skip it. So, 
this waddle looked promising. Uh, did I what, what did I buy anything else? Well I bought one batch. Can you see it? That lovely little camo. I thought this was really cool. And as we know camo is a cigarette brand and it's also a band. Basically, that's it, and oh my god, I've already spent more than 24 minutes while, make, while showing you these. So it's time to say goodbye, and thank you very much for watching, and if you have any comments or questions they always welcome and see you soon